and we're back. And we're back with today's episode of Amex Books. 657, holy moly, good morning, good morning, good afternoon, and good night. We're coming to you, ba, ba, ba. I just finished Trevor Noah's book yesterday. It is really stinking intense. So this is something something new that I'm going to experiment with, is I listened to Trevor Noah's book, Born a Crime, uh, via Audible. So I don't have reference to the, you know, the quotes or the sections or concepts, etc., as easily as I would if it were a book. So I wasn't able to chronicle it, you know, in my journal the same way. However, there are certain points that jump out to me after recalling the book. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend a couple days on Trevor Noah's book as well, going straight from recall and uh, see if we can experiment, experiment with that, see if it works, see if it turns out to be a good thing. Because it was a tremendous book, Trevor Noah's Born a Crime. I highly, highly recommend that. I'm reading this book, American Wife, right? Uh, I finished this book. We're studying it right now. And uh, currently reading How to Change Your Mind, The Use of Psychedelics for Medicinal Purposes. What? Yep, we're going to learn all about it. Let's dive into today's show. Whoops, not what I wanted to hit there. That's what I wanted to hit there. Let's rock and roll. Hello, Larry. Hello, Ryan. Ryan, Jackie published your book. That's pretty awesome. That's really cool. Actually, I'll, I'm going to interview my friend and former roommate, Jackie, wrote a book called Chapstick Eater. It, uh, I haven't read the book. I've read parts of the book. I know her. I can say that it is hilarious just because she is hilarious. So um, I'll be talking more about that in the upcoming episodes. But Chapstick Eater, get yourself a copy. If you want to laugh, if you want to smile, get it. All right, let's dive into American Wife. One, two, three. Microphone is on. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Spaniard Show. This is The Spaniard, and this is AMX Book 657. The book we're talking about today is American Wife by Taya Kyle. It is her autobiography as well as an exploration of American sniper Chris Kyle's life, their relationship, their challenges, their lives, what she has done since Chris's passing. First concept I want to talk about here is jiu-jitsu, right? So my experience with jiu-jitsu, when I was teaching Spanish, I realized I wanted to do something different. I didn't know what I wanted to do different. I was turned on to this thing called jiu-jitsu. I remember the first jiu-jitsu match I ever watched. It was a cassette or DVD. I remember thinking, what is that? Why did he get on the ground? Why are they in that position? I don't understand it. Segue that into a life and a career of professional fighting in which I was heavily involved in jiu-jitsu, learning the sport because it is a perfect complement to professional fighting. So the idea here is not the, the technical aspect of jiu-jitsu, but more so the idea of jiu-jitsu. You know, in wrestling, I will equate it to Iowa-style wrestling. And this is kind of my, I guess what I would more so favor in wrestling and fighting uh, especially fighting, the Iowa style wrestling is going right after your opponent. In their face, push, snap, push, physically manhandle, maneuver, make them tired, gas them out. Uh, fatigue makes cowards of us all. Make them fatigued, make them a coward. Boom, in your face. The idea of jiu-jitsu is much different. The idea of jiu-jitsu is not, I see you, you see me, let's kick and punch each other like they do in Muay Thai. It's more so a roundabout way. So you you want me on the ground. So rather than walking straight up to me, picking you up and throwing me on the ground, you're going to go a more roundabout way to use it. So Jocko talks about this concept in business. You know, you want a desired outcome. You want your boss, your coworker, your colleague to do a certain thing. Rather than go up to them and say, hey, will you do a, this certain thing? You do other things outside of that scope that will result in them doing the thing you want them to do. Okay, so it's jujitsu. It's a roundabout way to make things happen. And I thought it was interesting. Here in the book, Taya is talking about the relationship, her relationship with Chris and, and stresses that they would encounter together. Now, consider this in your own relationships, okay? You want a desired outcome from your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your whatever, mom, dad, whatever, whatever. Rather than go up to them and saying, hey, mom or dad, will you do this thing that I want? Think, are there other things that I could do, right? Are there other things that I could do outside of this scope that would result in my desired outcome in this scope, right? It's a roundabout way of getting things done. Taya says this, quote, she wanted a more open relationship with Chris. She wanted him to share more of building his business, what he was thinking, etc. 
quote, once I stopped questioning everything he did, Chris consulted with me more. I changed my attitude to one that was more accepting and supportive, which made both of us happier. So it's often an indirect approach that can achieve the desired result. She wanted more openness. So rather than questioning and asking, hey, 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 she took a step back, became more supportive, and in turn, he gave her what she wanted, which was more open communication. Now let's talk about the birth of American Sniper. So American Sniper, the book, came out in 2013. The movie came out in 2014. So the birth of American Sniper, Chris Kyle gets out of the military, and people had talked to him about writing a book about him. You remember, this was 2013. Uh, military books, Navy SEAL books, had become more and more common. Back then, you know, I, I remember Lone Survival with Marcus Luttrell. There were some SEAL uh, books by uh, the, the Crouch, Dick Crouch. Uh, Mar Marcinko wrote some books too. So it was a thing, but it certainly wasn't as popular and common as it was today. So people had approached him about a book, but he was hesitant. He's humble, right? We're going to talk more about that in, in the next point. But Jim Felice, who's a writer, encouraged him, and he wanted to paint a real picture of war. Okay, so he wanted to paint a real picture of war, real, harrowing, reality. This is what war is like. And here's Chris's purpose. And this talks about the humility that I'm going to talk about later on in this episode. Chris's sole purpose in writing the book, quote, I want to honor the guys who fought with me. I want to honor the guys who fought with me. So it's crucial to him that he came across humble, right? Humbly, which he is. The, 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 there's a dichotomy, and they talk about it in the book, but there's a dichotomy of humility, right? Being humble versus telling his story, which is unbelievably successful, and bragging. He didn't want to come off bragging. He has an incredible story. The most lethal sniper in, in the U.S. military. He's a humble person. But he can't, he can't discredit the fact that I am the most successful sniper. So it was really important to him to come across humbly versus a braggart for having all these accomplishments. Moving on to the last bullet point of the day. Mr. Rogers. Man, it always, always comes back to Mr. Rogers. So not only are we talking about humility, but we're talking about being your honest self. So in the book, it really talks about how uh, how Chris Kyle keeps his feet grounded, right? He keeps his roots. He stays himself. His the, the clothes that he wears, the way that he talks, the way that he spends his time, it was very important to him to stay who Chris Kyle was and not get swept up in fame. Going back to Mr. Rogers, one of the greatest gifts you can give anybody is a gift of your honest self. Think of that. One of the greatest gifts you can give anybody is the gift of your honest self. Just think and be you, right? Be you. You're the best you you can possibly be. You, you never got to put on airs. You never got to worry about letting down your guard when you are simply just you. Talking about Chris Kyle in the book, quote, his humility managed to come through in person, but that only made him more endearing. Being humble and honest made him even more of a hero. Listen to that. You want to be a hero? Being humble and honest made him even more of a hero and more famous. All the notoriety, listen to this, people, all the notoriety became an extension of his natural friendliness. You hear that often, that money doesn't change people, just brings more of that person out. Being humble and honest made him even more of a hero and more famous. It became an extension of his natural friendliness. I, I go back often to our friend George Pocock from The Boys in the Boat, his lifelong pursuit of the ideal. When I read something like that, when I read that, that he didn't get swept up away in fame, when I read that his sole purpose was to honor the guys who fought with me, that's why I share this stuff. Because it strikes me as, I want to be like that. I want to do that. And it's this constant learning, this constant improvement, this kaizen, right? The, the, the Japanese business philosophy of, of constant steady improvement. That's the most important thing here, folks. So hear this stuff, digest it, and make a commitment just to do 1% better tomorrow. This has been AMX book 657, studying the book American Wife by Taya Kyle. All of these books are on my website, charliespender.com. There you will also find links to my speaking programs. I have a couple scheduled this week. Really cool. Uh, you can find uh, links to all of my social media, at Charlie Spender. Hop on iTunes. You can find the show there. Subscribe. We're on YouTube, Facebook. We're all across the board, folks. Pick a book. Read it. You never know where it'll take you.
only that could last all day. If only that could last all day. It's funny, Pritch. It, I, it, it's not that I say to myself, I'm going to love Mr. Rogers. It's just that it really comes back to kindness and respect and responsibility and authenticity. It's like he nailed it. And I love that it's so simple, like that he nailed it, but it is so simple. All right, folks. That's it for today. I'll be back. Actually, I'll be recording in AMX Kids a little bit later. Remember, AMX Books, Monday through Friday. AMX Kids on Tuesdays. AMX Talks on Thursdays, in which I'll be recapping this past weekend's hunting extravaganza. And then on Saturdays comes out AMX Weekly. Be sure to subscribe on iTunes. Search Spanner Show. Click subscribe. Every episode sent straight to you. See you.